Hello everybody, and I'm going to try to keep this one short because I need to do some stuff in that sleep, but range of motion needs to be addressed. Uh, recently I saw a video where someone was criticizing the range of motion that some other people were using. They were doing some overhead presses, and this medical coat is a little small, it's very old, it's my only one that doesn't have any insignias on it for my university, so I thought it's probably the best for my videos, but... They were doing some overhead presses with about like that much range of motion, and the person criticizing them said they should be going locking out all the way, coming all the way down. So what's the reality? A yeah, night of hard drinking has a great way of washing away the details of your muscles, unless you just get really dehydrated. Then the next day. You Pretty cool. That was the last time I drank a lot. This time I woke up looking soft and puffy. It can go either way. So that, that, that's a good thing. Like, don't try to just drink a bunch of alcohol to look shredded the next day. Probably a better idea to take a diuretic if you're going to try to get dehydrated, but not medical advice. And diuretics are dangerous. I'm just saying alcohol it can go either way. But back to range of motion. Is it good or bad? Like, what is it? So, first of all, everybody's different. Everyone has a different range of motion. Just because you can do something doesn't mean someone else can. Your joint might be like this, where it allows. I think you get the point. Or uh, someone else's joint could be like an allow. So everyone has a different range of motion. Everyone has a different body. Uh, some people literally have different muscles that other people don't have. You know, believe me, look into it. If you can have such different anatomy from somebody else. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then there's another thing about range of motion. First of all, you do not need full range of motion to build strength or to build muscles. You can, do very, you can literally have no range of motion and build strength and build muscles. Isometric. It, it, it does actually work. Is it ideal for hypertrophy, for bodybuilding? I don't think so. But does it work? Yes. Um, small range of motion works. Partial reps work. All, all this stuff actually has a place. You just have to know how to use it, when to use it, how much to do it. Now let's get to locking out. So, locking out takes tension off of your muscles. Actually, coming all the way down in a shoulder press also takes tension off your muscles. Because you're able to just relax it, let it pull on you, rather than having your muscles working to hold it. Again, same thing with your arms fully locked out. When your elbows are completely locked out, the weight is just going through your arm through your shoulder, through your body, and your skeletal system is holding it up. Of course, you're using muscles to stabilize it, but the point is that you're not using your muscles to actually lift it. I mean, you already lifted it, but you're not using it, your muscles to continuously hold it there. Uh, yeah, small muscles to stabilize it, but it's a, lot to, it's a lot harder to hold, say, a dumbbell like this, than it is to hold it like that, because you can just rest and let it push down. So you are actually getting a harder workout by not coming all the way down in shoulder presses and not going all the way up. And there is something else I think, what was it? Hold on a minute, because I might have forgotten something, but maybe there was nothing. I'm a bit hungover today. I think that's pretty much everything. To elaborate a little bit more on everyone's range of motion being different, you can also get injured or cause, like... So there's acute injuries and there's chronic injuries. You can get both. You can get an acute injury more likely if you do something with too much range of motion. 
you can also get chronic injuries. Um, maybe when you go past a certain point, one of your tendons rubs over one of your bones, and you do that each time, it rubs, it rubs, it rubs, it's a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage, and that's going to lead to a chronic injury. If you want to know more about tendonitis, buy my book. It's expensive, but guess what else is expensive? Lots of doctor's visits, gasoline to get to the doctors, gasoline to get back from the doctors, but the most expensive thing has no monetary value, and that is your time. The more time you spend in pain, not enjoying life, the worse, because you can't get that time back. <laughs> so if you want that book, go to Amazon, type in A Systematic Guide to Defeating Tendinitis by Andrew Hutchings. And you can get acute injuries from too much range of motion. In fact, I got an injury that stuck with me for two years. And I eventually had to take six months off of bench pressing to let it fully heal, all from stretching in a doorway. I stretched a little too much and tore, slightly, like partially tore um, my, pr probably my pec major tendon. I actually did not pay that much attention to exactly what it was, because uh, it's somewhat irrelevant. The important thing is that you let it get better. <laughs> and whether it was my pec major or my pec minor, doesn't really matter. Uh, what matters is that I did not fully tear it, and that I let it heal. That stuck with me for two years, messing up my bench press. Uh, and. I just could not keep bench pressing. Like I'd, I'd get up to do pretty heavy bench press, it hurt, I did bench press for like a few weeks, a few months, and I had to take a break and try to do other stuff, and I come back to bench press, I get back up to heavy weight, and then it hurts again. So yeah, eventually I just took six months off of bench pressing, did very little, very careful, lighter chest, like flies. And as, after like six months of doing very light bench press and worked my way back up to like 3, uh, 15, technically it's a little less because it's 140 kilos, not 315 pounds. Three plates. So yeah, you gotta be careful with too much range of motion. Hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps me. Well, it doesn't currently help me. Well, it helps me get to the point where it can hopefully help me monetarily. And check out my other videos.